Welcome back to the 2014 BYU Football Media Day live web chats. I'm Lauren Frankham. If you want to join the conversation, if you have any questions for Bronson Kafusi and Remington Peck, use the hashtag BYU Media Day and we'll get your questions on the air. Guys, thanks so much for being here with us. How's yeah. Media Day going so far? It's going good. Yeah, it's pretty good. A little busy, but it's fun. <laughs> is, this, uh, is this something you dread? Like, is Media Day something you dread or you, like, get excited about? I've always wondered that. It's, it, it's fun. It's fun to hear all the questions from different people or just around the world, probably. <laughs> yeah. So it's fun. Yeah, I think it's, it's exciting. You know, interviews during the year or something might get monotonous, but yeah. this stuff's fun. Gets you excited and stuff, so. Get you pumped up for yeah. the season. 67 days until kickoff. How do you guys stay focused during the off season? Uh, I just say, I mean, you're still doing it every day. You know what I mean? You're still working out or watching film or doing drills every single day. And so it kind of allows you to stay focused and realize what you're working for. So, Bronson, yeah. what do you do? Oh, man. I have to go fishing. <laughs> 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 Take my wife with me. We go fly fishing <laughs> you know, up, up the Provo River. Just kind of relax at the same time. But just like Ram said, you're doing the same things every day. So it's nice to go, you know, have some downtime just to... Um, Go do something that you yeah, really that love you to love. do. Yeah. <laughs> There's got to be a metaphor in there somewhere. Fly fishing and football. I don't know what it is. We'll we'll think about it. Okay. <laughs> so do you guys ever watch like sports movies in the off season? Oh yeah. Okay. What's your favorite? What do you watch? Ooh. Remember the Titans and Rudy. Got mine. Yes. And Rudy. Yeah. <laughs> the Titans and Rudy. Why? Why? Which one's your favorite out of those two? Remember the Titans. How come? I just always loved it, huh? I just I don't know. It came out when I was younger, and yeah. ever since then, I just. We always, I always watched a lot of my buddies ever since we were little, so fun like to watch. <laughs> What's your favorite? Yeah, I'd have to say I remember the Titans as well, just because for me it's just like how, how close a team can, can come together, you know, and, uh, you know, these guys on my team like Bronze and some other teammates, they become, you know, your best friends, people that you'll, you'll always remember and always talk to. So I just like that part, the chemistry of how they come together and stuff. So. I just want to test your knowledge. Left side. Strong, Strong side. side. Yes, yes, I had to do it. I had to do it. <laughs> That's do you, it. Do you guys have any like pregame rituals that you do before each game to get you pumped up? Let's start mm. with Remington. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm probably a little different. Like all, all the other guys in the team, they're into rap music and stuff. But I always listen to country music. <laughs> I don't know. That's just like That's awesome. I've always grown up like that, and so that's what I do. Uh, and for me, um, probably. I don't know. I'm pretty relaxed. I go in there, I put my name at the bottom of the board, and I go out and warm up and come back in and then um, just get taped up and just get ready. I just kind of lay there sometimes. <laughs> just close my eyes. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, just start, yeah, yeah, just start thinking about it and then, yeah, then I get ready to go. So you have changed, I'm sure you've gotten this question so much today, from D-line to linebacker. Uh -huh. What have you had to do physically to prepare for that position? Yeah, I dropped like 30 pounds. So I was skinny. almost, uh, <laughs> I got skinny, yeah. I dropped, I was almost 290 uh, last year by the end of the season and then just dropped it real fast. Um, just got, my body's just more natural at this weight. So yeah. I'm loving it. <laughs> What's harder, linebacker or D-line? D-line. Is it? How for fun? sure harder, yeah. How uh, fun? What makes it harder? Um, you get double teamed a lot, and um, you're going to go up against two, 300 plus guys every single down. So um, I would say that's the hardest part. Um, linebacker, you're attacking, whereas in our scheme, you're you're going lateral. So that's probably it. <laughs> Hermington, you had seven tackles against Utah last year, one of your best games. What's it like having that rivalry? come to an end momentarily like not playing them this season yeah I mean it's it's weird to look on the schedule and not see them I think uh, you know I'm not someone that like hates Utah or anything you know I respect that program and I, I think the reason I look forward to it is just you're playing against you know your friends you're playing against guys you played with in high school so I think that's the reason I'm gonna miss it but I mean I'm sure it'll be the same rivalry when it comes back yeah. Who replaces Utah as the rivalry? Is that Utah State? Is that Texas? Who do you guys think replaces that game uh, this season? <laughs> this season. For this me, season. it's Utah State, just yeah. because my brother plays up there, and you know, again, you're gonna play against guys you know. But I don't know. What about you? Uh, yeah, probably Utah State, just because it's in-state. Yeah. In-state yeah. rivalry, same thing. You know, there's guys I went to high school with who are playing there, and so you know, it's always like coming together. Everyone wants to prove themselves and yeah. um, show what they got. So yeah, I'll definitely miss it. The 50th anniversary for the Lavelle Edwards Stadium is coming up here soon. Remington, what is your favorite moment so far in that stadium that you can remember? Um, I'd probably have to still say my freshman year, just when uh, 
Andrew George caught that winning touchdown pass and everyone came out on the field. Um, it's just cool to play in front of that many people and have that many people come onto a field. Or I, I really enjoy third downs, you know what I mean, when, when they all get excited. And a lot of times I, don't, I probably don't realize how cool it is to play in, that, in front of that many people, but I like to just sit back and take it in a little bit. So. Dennis Pitta mentioned that exact same oh, game. Really? It's his favorite <laughs> memory in Lavelle Edwards Stadium. What about you? Um, for me, probably the, just that first game that I played in as a freshman. Um, probably the first play. I, did, I, I really didn't expect my name to get called out to go onto the field. <laughs> but then it did. And so I went out there and just didn't do the best job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, was, I, I came around the edge and slid and slipped. And then the guy just sat on me. So I, <laughs> I, I think of that. But at the same time, it's just... You know, the good thing about, you know, or the best thing about playing there is, and about football is even though you lose, you just get back up and get ready for the next play. Yeah. So, but I love the fans. I, I love when that place just gets so loud. And, you know, you're inside the locker room and ever you can hear BYU Cougars. <laughs> and the lights are flickering and you're like, okay, here we go. So yeah. I, I love that part too. Is the best moment when you just run out and everyone's there cheering and run through the cheerleaders, run through. <laughs> I mean, that's one of my favorite moments, even as a fan, just staring at all the players running out. Yeah, so, it's fun. It's yeah. fun, yeah. I can only imagine being a player. So tell us a little about the Cougar Challenge. Your team won. Yes. I mean, how did you guys win? Like, how does anyone, how does anybody win? Strategy. It was strategy, What, what was your sure. strategy? Well, we swam in the pool, and then every, everyone went back to the locker room to get changed. Our team strategized, and we had all our clothes. So we changed right when we jumped out of the pool and didn't have to waste like five minutes going in and changed out the locker room, which put us ahead right from the beginning. So that's about, that's like the only thing that helped us win. Then, weren't you like all wet though? Like doing the rest of the Yeah, you just dry it off. You dry it off. Huh? Yeah, just throw some shorts on, you dry off. So. Ross Apple and Mitch Matthews told me I had to ask you guys about your basketball games. I, I mean, Better than them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll take them. Yeah. Yeah. If you two yeah. had to play those two, yeah. who would win? Oh, it wouldn't even be close. They were trash jargon, so. Yeah, they didn't pull it. Did Ross play high school basketball? I mean, think I so. Know. I know Mitch didn't. I know Mitch didn't. He didn't want to. He can but, just jump. So yeah, he, he, he can jump. Ross can jump. But they don't got skill like we got. <laughs> <laughs> if you two had to go one-on-one, -on -one, who would win? Oh, he'd probably Rem. get me. No, Rem would win. Rem would win. Rem, Rem has his little that, sneaky But moves. if we went fishing, who would win? Yeah. It wouldn't oh, yeah. even be close. Yeah. Okay, I'll say he's a better fisherman. I will say the end hunter. He, he's, he's I mean, he at listens to the country. He's got to hunt yeah. and he's oh, got to yeah. fish. He's good at it. <laughs> so your wife is also a D1 athlete. She's yes. uh, going to be the goalie this uh -huh. year for the soccer team. With both of you that busy, who cooks, who cleans, who, who does all of that? Who Whoever's at home. Whoever's at home first. Um, yeah, we don't. Yeah, we see each other during, during the fall. Uh, you know, their travel schedule is different than ours because we'll travel on Friday and then get back right after the game. Whereas they leave, they'll go play two games in the West Coast Conference and not get home. They'll leave on a Wednesday, get home on like a Sunday. So yeah. it just depends who's home. Yeah. Do you cook for your wife? Oh, yeah. Good job. Yeah, I do cook for my That's wife. That's a good husband. Oh, yeah. She loves it when I cook. I know she loves eating it, but she loves it when I'm <laughs> in the kitchen cooking. She's just probably <laughs> relieved she doesn't have to do anything. Yeah, that, that too. <laughs> Are you going to cook for your wife when you're married? Oh, no, I'm married. Oh, oh, I mean, yeah, when I you're married. married yeah. Oh, yeah. No, do yeah, you cook I, for your uh, wife then? Yeah, during the fall, during the season, she probably <laughs> cooks more than me. But yeah, no, he some loves my elk jerky. jerky. He makes elk jerky. You do? Yeah, I'm I not surprised oh, yeah. after what I've heard. I <laughs> but no, yeah, I, uh, I cook during the off season, and so she likes it. I think all wives like when their husband cooks. Yeah, you know? so. I think so too. I think so too. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for being here with me. This has been an awesome interview. Good luck this season. Coming up next, we have some more football players that we're going to interview. Jordan Johnson and... Robertson Daniel. Took me a second to think of that. Stay tuned. <laughs>